Hey everybody, and today we are trying the first of a handful of whiskeys from Traverse City Whiskey Company. Let's crack it open and find out how it is. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews. Today we're cracking open the first of a handful of whiskeys I got samples of from Traverse Whiskey Company, so thank you very much to them for sending these out. We're going to start to this one off with the Port Barrel Finished Whiskey. This is bottled at 45% alcohol by volume. It's a straight bourbon whiskey finished in port barrels. And I believe I read on their website that it spends about four additional months in the port whiskey barrels. So. It's distilled from a mash of corn, barley, malt, and premium rye and finished in port wine barrels, produced and bottled by the Traverse City Whiskey Company. So awesome. I'm really excited to get into this stuff. I've heard a lot of great stuff about their whiskey. I posted a picture of these when they sent them to me and I asked you guys which ones you think I should get into first. A lot of people said the barrel proof, a lot of people said the port. So um, I decided to start off with the port and we'll be doing the barrel proof next. So, but we're gonna start with this guy today. So let's crack it open. I've been a big fan of finished whiskeys lately. So hopefully this one lives up. Like I said, I've heard a lot of good stuff about their whiskey and I've never had any of it, so I'm really excited to try it. All right. So on the nose, definitely a sweet, rich nose. I mean, you're getting some of those port characters. It's got some similarities to like Angel's Envy. And obviously that's coming from that port influence. I would say this one even has a more strong port influence on it. A lot of that really dark, rich fruit characters. Really deep, really dark. It's got a little bit of a pop of alcohol in the nose. Mainly a lot of rich, dark fruit though. Smells good. There's a little vanilla hiding back there. Smells pretty sweet though, so I'm curious to see how sweet this is. Hopefully it's not like cloyingly, overwhelmingly sweet. Like I said, Angel's Envy, if you've seen my review of that, I think is a good whiskey, but you gotta take it in small doses because it is really sweet, and I think a lot of that comes from the port. So let's see how they balance this one out. Let's get the taste. Cheers. Yeah, so this one's not overly sweet. Now, I think it's probably, at first taste, my guess is that this is a little bit younger whiskey than Angel's Envy. So, I don't know if there was an age on here. I don't think I saw anything about how old it is. It says batch number three, two, in case you were wondering. But I think there's a little bit younger whiskey, so maybe it doesn't have those sweeter characters that you would get from a whiskey that sat in oak a little bit longer. So it doesn't quite as sweet because you're not adding that sweet port to the sweeter whiskey. So it kind of balances out pretty nicely on the sweetness level, but let's get into the taste a little bit more. Yeah, right in the front of the tongue, you kind of get the pop of that port character. Some of those dark fruit characters, some dark cherry, some plum. Mid palate, it goes a little bit spicy. You get maybe some cinnamon, some vanilla, maybe the slightest touch of oak. I think I'm left with a little bit of bitterness and I'm, I'm kind of feel like it's more like a grassy bitterness. Like I said, I'm not getting a lot of characters that make me think this whiskey has a lot of age on it. So I'm guessing maybe this is like a two or three year old whiskey that they aged in the port barrels. But that is just a guess. So far so good, but let's get one more taste here. Yeah, there's some nice flavors here. More of what I said. It's not extraordinarily complex. There's not a lot of depth or a lot of um, different flavors there. There's a lot of what I said originally, which is like those, those initial dark fruits, some vanilla, some cinnamon. There's almost like a sweet, you know, brown sugar quality to it. Like I said, there's a little bit of a bite of bitterness in the end. It really does kind of feel like maybe an oaky tannic kind of bitterness. 
I'm not tasting many grassy notes here. So you got a more bitter finish. It's, you're not left with a ton of sweetness, which I'm, I'm, I'm nicely surprised by. Like I said, a lot of times port finished whiskeys can tend to be a little sweet. So I think they did a good job of balancing this one out. But I'm curious to see what happens after it opens up a little bit. Maybe some more flavors will come out and balance out a little bit more with the stuff that's already here. So as we always do in these reviews, we're going to give it 20 or 30 minutes in the glass to see if it'll give us a hint at what might happen once this bottle's had a little bit of time to open up. So let's give it the 20 or 30 minutes and we'll come back and see how it's tasting. All right, so this whiskey's been in the glass for probably a little bit longer than 20, 30 minutes, probably closer to 40. So let's see how it's tasting. So I think it's balanced itself out just a little bit better. Um, I think some more of those fruity characters have kind of carried through, covered up a little bit more of the young whiskey characters, just a touch. I think it's tasting better. Let me get one more sip here. Yeah, definitely. The fruitiness kind of carries throughout the entire palate, covers up a little bit more of those youthful whiskey qualities. And it's a nice, got a nice, even carries through the back of the palate, which is where it was lacking a little bit before. It was finishing a little bit dry before, now it's got a little bit of sweetness that kind of carries all the way through, which has made it balance out a little bit better. So definitely an improvement over just a little bit of time it's been in the glass. So I'm hopeful this whiskey would open up a little bit better over a few weeks here. Um, I would say that I think it's probably lacking a little bit in complexity. You got some nice fruity qualities there. And like I said, you got some of these youthful whiskey qualities, like the young kind of light fruits and a little bit of a grassiness. Um, I would love to see what this would taste like with a little bit more age on their whiskey. And again, if they're a, they're a young whiskey company, they may not have the older stock of whiskeys to do that with at this point in time, but I would imagine in the future their whiskey's gonna get older and older, and at some point they'd be able to use a little bit older stock of whiskey to, to uh, age in these port barrels. So I think it's definitely gonna improve over time. Not to say that I don't enjoy it, I think it's, it's solid, but when you're gonna compare it to a whiskey, say like, Again, another port finished whiskey and probably one of the more popular ones out there is Angel's Envy. Angel's Envy just has more depth and complexity to it. Um, so I don't know how much price-wise these are in comparison, but obviously Angel's Envy is also a kind of reasonably pricey whiskey. So I don't know how they, they compare price-wise there, but um, this one just is a younger, a younger whiskey with those port notes. So I'm going to give it a preliminary score of... I think it's good. I just think I said it could use some more complexity, but I did get an improvement over the of, with a little bit of air time. So who knows what's going to happen to this thing in a few weeks. I'm going to give it right now, though, an 80, an 81. I think it's good whiskey. Again, I, I would like to see some more complexity out of it and a little bit more depth out of it. Um, but I think it opened up nicely. I think it's got a nice flavor profile and uh, an overall just solid whiskey. So let me know if you've had the chance to try their port finished whiskey, what you think in the comments down below. I think it's good. I think it'll get better with a little bit of airtime. Um, and yeah, let me know what's your favorite Traverse City whiskey. Since this is the first one we've done out of the few that they sent me, let me know which is your favorite in the comments down below. Next coming up will be their barrel proof whiskey, which I'm really excited for. So you guys know I love a barrel proof product. So that one will be coming next. Um, as always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can also catch me on Instagram at Mission Bottle Kill, where I'm posting pictures of people killing all kinds of great bottles of whiskey. And you can send me an email at blindwhiskeyreviews, that's whiskey with an E at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers.